Hi there, my name's Paul. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today behind me, I've got the Toyota Pro Ace L1H1 panel van design edition in Falcon Grey. So lots and lots of extras for you inside this vehicle. Absolutely fantastic color, very, very highly sought after. Just want to take you on a quick walk around, show you some of the features and the benefits that this fantastic vehicle has got to offer. So let's have a look around. Okay, so as we said, this is the L1 H1 Toyota Pro Ace design in Falcon Grey. Now, the first thing I want to point out with this vehicle, it's a new pre-registered vehicle. So with that, you have got the full manufacturer's warranty. <clears throat> now with that, Toyota are going to give you a standard five-year warranty up to 100,000 miles. However, one big, big feature that is offered by Toyota is a 10-year conditional warranty so if you go for your services at toyota they're going to bump you on an extra year going up to a maximum of 10 years or a hundred thousand miles that's a really really nice piece of uh, reassurance and peace of mind there for you aside from that we have already applied a triple layer gardex treatment to this vehicle so what that does is it helps to give you some protection against any negative effects of uv from sunlight acidity and rainwater Anything at all that's going to cause premature aging, dimming, or deterioration to the beautiful finish that is on this vehicle. As you said, the Falcon Grey is a very, very highly sought after color at the moment, very, very popular. The design edition does give you lots and lots of extra features. So, at the front, as you can see there, you have got the fog lights on the front for added visibility. If you're driving in diminished visibility conditions, you're going to be a lot safer there. You've also got the parking sensors. They are on the front and the rear of the vehicle, as well as giving you an audio chime. They will also give you a visual uh, pointer on the media system as well. You've also got those lovely cut uh, Toyota alloy wheels included with this vehicle. Just moving around, as you see that you've got a sliding door there on the off side of the vehicle. You've also got one on the near side as well. Parking sensors, as you can see, are just there on the rear of the vehicle. As you may or may not have already noticed, you have got color-coded bumpers included as well. Diesel filler is just there above the near side rear wheel arch. There's your second sliding door. This is also an add blue vehicle. So on the near side behind the passenger seat there, that's where you've got your add blue filler. So lots and lots going on on the outside as you've seen fantastic looking vehicle let's have a look in the back okay so into the back storage area across the width first of all you've got 125 centimeters 126 centimeters going from the floor to the bottom of the ribs on the ceiling and then from the bulkhead along the floor all the way to the back and you've got 245 centimeters of decent usable storage space. So loads of room in the back of the vehicle. You do also get the spare wheel, as you see, that will be harnessed underneath at point of sale. We just keep them in the back there for security while on site. Uh, in the back, you've got loads and loads of tie down points. So if you do need anything at all harnessed down for stability or safety, that's gonna be really easy for you to do so as well. You've also got the lights in the back there, so if you are working in low light conditions, it's going to make that job a lot easier for you. Looking at your back doors, they open out to 90 degrees as you can see, but for any reason at all, or just for example, we're going to say someone's parked really close behind, just going to pull on those yellow tags, that's going to allow those doors to open all the way out to 180 degrees, giving you the maximum amount of access into the back of your vehicle. Aside from that, if you uh, look into the back with me, you are going to notice that the back of the vehicle has been lined on the sidewalls, so you have got some protection for the van itself. Now, if you do need the rest ply lined, we don't do accessories ourselves, but we can put you in touch with local businesses that will do that sort of work on your behalf. Now, lastly, I'm just going to move around to the sliding door on the near side. <clears throat> now, as you're away from the, from the bulkhead to the back, 245 centimeters of storage length 
You've also got the flap at the bottom left of the bulkhead. That folds down. That's going to give you another 45 centimeters of storage underneath your passenger seats. However, if you do need more still, if someone's parked close behind, uh, sorry, if you've got two before, sorry, pipework, anything that's really long and you just need that extra bit of space, you're just going to pull that blue tag there. That's going to allow that seat to lift up. So that maxi storage there is going to give you a total of one meter going from the bulkhead through into the cab of the vehicle. So that's in addition to the 45 centimeters, you've got another 55 centimeters extra from that. So absolutely loads going on outside the vehicle. Loads and loads going on there for you in the back of the vehicle. Lots and lots of functionality and usability for you. Let's go have a look in the cab. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the key there into my pocket. Moving in on the driver's side, first of all now. And with this vehicle, we have got keyless entry to the vehicle. So I'm just going to place my thumb on the pads on the handle there. That is going to unlock those doors. As well as that, I'm just going to point out, just locking those doors again, that you've got power fold mirrors. So locking the doors and unlocking the doors is going to fold those mirrors in and out for us. Just looking in the driver's door channels, lots and lots of storage options in there for you. You've also got electronic central locking, electronically controlled mirrors, and electronically controlled windows as well. Just looking in at the seats before we jump into the seats, first of all, you've got the height adjuster there on the driver's seat. You've got three adjustable headrests there, so maximum convenience for everyone in the vehicle. You've also got a pull down hard surface there. That's gonna be really useful for any invoicing, billing, or journal entries. And we've also got a pull down armrest there for added convenience for the driver. Also got some storage underneath the second passenger seat there. So lots and lots going on there. Let's jump up into that driver's seat. Okay, so from the driver's seat, just looking around the dash, you've got two cup holders there, one at each extreme of the dash, so added convenience, some storage in the center. You've got a nice glove box there with some storage in there for you as well, along with storage compartments in front of your passengers and behind the gear stick. The one there is particularly useful for any mobile devices. So you've got the 12 volt charging point and the USB charging point just there as well. You've also got keyless ignition with this vehicle. You've got a connective steering wheel there. You've got options on there for hands-free cooling, volume controls, voice controls. So lots and lots going on there. Underneath to the lower left, you've got your cruise control options just there. Upper left, and you've got automatic headlights included. And on the upper right, you've got automatic wipers included with this vehicle as well. So, so as we've said, we've got keyless ignition with this vehicle. So I'm just gonna pop the key just in the compartment there. Foot down on the clutch. Now, as you see, the vehicle starts up nice and easy first time, excuse the pun, on the button. Let's just close that door. So, Looking at the dash, nice crystal clear, easy to read dash display. That little green light on the bottom left is just pointing out that the uh, blind spot mirror, uh, blind spot warning on the mirrors is working. Looking at the dash as well, no warning lights, which is perfect. And with this particular vehicle, delivery miles only, nothing else. So looking at that screen, you can adjust that and have a few options there for what you want displayed on there just moving across now and as you can see there you've got six speed manual gearbox moving up from there we've got the climate controls so with that you've got heated mirrors included and you've also got aircon as you can see that's switched on at the moment looking at the media system so in the vehicle options lots and lots of options here for you you've got automatic stop start you can turn on and off the adaptive cruise control sensors, the blind spot monitoring system. Lots and lots of options in there for you, as you can see. 
in the radio options. So you've got DAB radio included amongst your normal AM and FM bands on this system as well. And just moving into the navigation options now. So as you can see, you've got SatNav built into this device as well. With this device, it is a touchscreen system as well as having the main uh, keys on the X side, uh, external on the outside of the device. Just popping into settings, so you can set up different profiles for different drivers. And in the apps option, as you can see, you've also got support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, connecting your phone using the USB below is going to enable you to make use of that. So if you prefer to use something like the Waze SatNav app, or just have your phone displayed up here on this system, it's going to be very easy and simple to do that. Phone options, so you've got the options to connect via Bluetooth. Once you've done that, you've got the options there for hands-free calling and audio streaming as well. So loads and loads of options, loads and loads of functionality for you with this vehicle. So thank you very much for taking the time to have a look around the Toyota Pro Ace L1 H1 panel van with me. I'm sure you'd agree. Fantastic vehicle, loads and loads of features and benefits for you and fantastic value for money. So anything at all we can do to assist with a purchase or to jump onto one of our fantastic finance deals, please let us know and it'll be a pleasure to look after you however we possibly can. Aside from that, if you can hit that five-star review button for me, that would be greatly appreciated on my part. Once again, thank you very much for your time today. Have a great day ahead. We look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. Bye now.